What's going on you guys? This is MaxKDI here, another Dell Precision T5600 workstation. I'm going to be upgrade, upgrade, show, show you how to do that. And first you're going to remove the latch for the side cover panel. And we're going to go ahead and start off. I want to be upgrading from a hard drive to soul state drive. A video card we're going to upgrade. I want to upgrade the sound card and upgrade the memory. And guys, this is for like the light gaming and uh, so first I'm going to do is remove the video card here. You're going to disconnect the 6 pin power right here. And there's going to be a little clip right here in the bottom of the top right there. See if I can lift up the computer, the workstation. You guys can see right there. So what you have to do, you have to take your finger right here, lift it up really gently, a little clip right here, secure clip. And the video card will come right out. So let me go ahead and lay down the computer. And uh, I'm going to go install the video card. I'm going to be installing the GTX 950. But you guys can install any other video cards like the GTX 9. You can install GTX 960 or GTX 1050 for gaming. You could do that. So I'm going to install the video card through PCI Express Time 16 slot right here. The blue one. That's where you can install the video card at. So we install the video card. Now you're gonna clip it back into the secure clips right here for the PCI bracket, locks it down. Now you're gonna, I'm gonna connect the six pin power, but if some GTX's 950's don't have six pin power because this is you uses more power because overclocked, that's why it requires six pin. The power supply in here is uh, 635 watts, so you don't have to upgrade, that's really good power supply in here. I got dual Xeon processor in here, but I'm gonna be upgrading them later. And uh, too faster and they're running at 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, they'll do Xeon process each process of four cores So total eight cores and I want to be upgraded. I'll be separate video I'm going to do a process upgrade and uh, tear down will be separate video. I'll do that So now we're gonna, we upgraded the video core now guys. I'm going to be installing the The video core I installed guys here is a GTX G4 GTX 950. This is MSI overclocked edition and the GTX uh, 1050 video card will work fine if you got the like, get the longer one. Like here, it will fit perfectly fine here. So you could probably go as much as more than 10 inches if you want here the video card or 11. You can go as much as 11 or 12 inches in here. Let's see, 112. Yeah, you can go around over 11 inches in here video card in here perfectly fine here will fit. And uh, let's see, so now guys, I'm going to be upgrading is uh, the sound card, XFI Extreme I'm going to be using. This is way better the sound, uh, the sound than an integrated sound. So I'm going to be installing through PCI Express right here times, uh, this is a PCI Express times 4 slot right there. You see this one right here? That's what I'm going to be installing that right there. So we're going to move it here, a little clip right here for the PCI bracket, the blue one. And you're going to move the PCI bracket right there. And I'm installing the sound card. Uh, why am I upgrading to the sound card? It's just better than the, in the integrated sound is okay, but the uh, sound card installing is gonna be a lot better because this is XFI Extreme. So we install the sound card. I'm gonna clip it back here in the secure clip right here for the PCI bracket. Now what I'm gonna do is install the. You, if you don't want to install it here, you can install one right here in the top if you want to do that. There's another PCI Express times uh, times four slot right there. It's a PCI Express times 16, but it's running at, at times four speed right there on the top one. You can install it there, the sound card, if you want. So now, guys, I'm going to be upgrading the memory here. So they're going to be installing four more, two more, uh, two more sticks, and it could be a total uh, of 16 gigs. It's got eight gigs in here, so it'd be another four uh, four gig per each uh, each stick. I'm going to be installing it's ECC register memory. Again, the memory install is uh, ECC register memory, and so I'm going to be DDR3. So one here, and one another one stick right there. I'm installing. Again, it's an ECC register memory, and it's a DDR3 installing here. And you're going to hear two clicks when the memory installed properly. So we upgrade the memory, it's gonna have total eight gigs, but now it's got total 16 gigs. And uh, we're gonna be upgrading from a hard drive. I'm gonna be upgrading the hard drive, show you how to do that, and to a soul state drive. So you're gonna connect the SATA power cable here. 
There's a plastic hard drive caddy here, so you take your fingers like this and lift it up like this. And the hard drive comes out. This plastic caddy bends it really easy. So here's the hard drive. And I'm installing another one in here. And so here's another hard drive. And you're gonna install it back like this. Now you're gonna connect the SATA and power cable to the hard drive, and you're done. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade to Solar State Drive. So you're gonna disconnect this, the hard drive, remove the hard drive caddy, and just remove the plastic. It's really bent like this, comes out. Now, what you need to do is use the plastic uh, hard drive caddy, the 3.5 inch. What you have to buy, let me zoom in the camera, you guys can see better. You guys can go online and buy this uh, hard solar state drive caddy here. I'm gonna zoom in the camera. It's a number, part number 0MFT3P. Again, 0FMT3P. You guys can pause the video and you can just go online and get this hard, the solar state drive caddy. It's a 2.5 inch. So I'm gonna zoom in the camera closer, you guys can see better. So 0MFT3P, and just you can go online and get this uh, part number. This is for the Dell hard solid state drive caddy. It's a 2.5 inch, a 3.5 inch right here, but then change it to 2.5 inch for the solid state drive. And it comes with the screws here, and you just mount the solid state drive. And we're installing this a 256 solid state drive in here, but any 2.5 inch solid state drive will work. So what you do is you take this uh, solid state drive caddy. And you're just gonna connect it like this to the, like this, and you're done. And just install it back, and connect the SATA and power. And you're just gonna install the SATA cable. That's it. You're done. So you guys, we upgraded from hard drive to solid state drive. We upgraded the memory from 8 gigs to 16 gigs. And we upgraded the video card GTX 950 and we upgraded the sound card to XFI Extreme. So guys, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in the monitor when you turn on the computer and you install the operating system windows you have. And what you're going to do is plug in the monitor directly to the video card here. And uh, if you're going to be using the same video card, then you just go to NVIDIA.com and get the latest drivers for it. Same with the sound card. Uh, I'm going to be installing you have to get the drivers from the website too. So you guys, it's a nice machine, it's a nice workstation for gaming, it'll be perfectly. But uh, you can, there are four more uh, right here, if you move this plastic right here on the top right here, there's, you can, there are four more slots, they allow you to install more memory in here. So it's a pretty nice workstation, I do like it. And uh, run it, you can have dual Xeon, but I'll do a separate video, show you how to upgrade the processor later, that'll be a separate video, and uh, tear down this assembly, I'll have to, have to be a separate video, I'm going to upload. So you guys, this will be the end of the video, let me put the side cover back on here, we're done. So back on here. So guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.